Hi, my name is Malia Cohen, and I'm the current elected representative of the San Francisco Board of Supervisors representing District 10. I'm one of five girls raised by my parents in the southeastern neighborhoods of San Francisco. And I know the history of the difficult challenges that the Southeast has faced, as my family has faced them too. However, what I see is what many residents see, neighborhoods that are unlike any other. District 10 is comprised of communities where people are familiar with each other, where families have lived for generations, and where people look out for one another. I vividly remember being told by my grandmother and friends of my grandparents to work hard, get good grades, serve others, and never forget where you come from, and to remember to help those coming up behind you. That's a large part of the reason why I ran for District 10 Supervisor four years ago, because I have a calling for public service. Now, I'm proud to be a product of San Francisco's public schools, a beneficiary of the public transportation system, as well as the library system. This city made me, and now it is my time to give back to the city and the institutions that have given me so much. Now, in my first four years on the Board of Supervisors, I've been proud to, de to deliver for all of the neighborhoods inside the southeastern sector. I've been a community organizer, a small business owner, and a former city employee. My work experience in each of these areas has afforded me the knowledge and skills to spearhead legislation, advocate for important issues, and interface with diverse communities to move forward the policies that have a positive impact on our southeastern neighborhoods. The most pressing issues facing our city are housing affordability, jobs, living wages, and of course, public safety. These issues are disproportionately felt in our southeastern neighborhoods. And in my first term on the Board of Supervisors, I have focused on crafting and supporting legislation that delivers pragmatic and tangible solutions to these problems. In my first term on the Board of Supervisors, I delivered for District 10 and residents of San Francisco by championing the development of affordable housing for seniors and families, establishing a mediation program to ensure foreclosed victims have legal support, breaking ground on rebuilding public housing sites, opening new libraries and renovating parks, acquiring new properties for public open space in areas that lack adequate access to clean and safe parks. Parks. I've also spearhead landmark legislation to toughen regulations on guns and lethal ammunition to curb the violence. I've been tackling quality of life issues by toughening enforcement standards on blight and substandard housing, increasing the penalties for illegal dumping and reforming the city's regulations of scrap metal dealers. I've been busy creating and protecting local jobs and construction and the manufacturing industry, and more importantly, securing funding to reduce domestic violence, as well as increasing healthy food options and expanding language access services so that all of our residents can have access to city services, regardless of the language that they speak. I've been instrumental in supporting programs such as Free Muni for Youth and fighting to secure more funds for transportation, fighting poorly planned development projects, and sponsoring legislation that gives residents more say in neighborhood planning by establishing a neighborhood-based land use committee and additional neighborhood notification requirements. I've co-authored legislation that provides a fair chance at jobs and affordable housing for individuals with a conviction history. This removes barriers for those re-entering in our communities who want to be productive. I've championed legislation to support pay equity and participated in education campaigns to encourage more employers to evaluate their own policies to ensure that they are paying employees fairly. And I've spearheaded the investment of $50 million of city pension funds to assist first-time home buyers in our city. Now, these issues that impact District 10 don't always generate front page news, but they do make a real difference in the lives of residents in our city. And being an elected official isn't about thinking about your next elected office, what it will be, or how often you can get your name in the paper, but it's been about delivering for constituents that you serve and representing their interest above your own. And that is the approach that I bring to the San Francisco Board of Supervisors. 
In my second turn on the Board of Supervisors, my priorities will be to continue to tackle housing affordability, prioritizing the construction of new affordable housing units, and fulfilling our commitment to rebuild public housing with a zero displacement policy, increasing public safety, and bringing more living wage jobs to residents in District 10. Thank you.